follow me. Let's have some fun. Hi, Pathfinders. I'm uh, outside Gillette, Wyoming right now. You're not gonna believe where I am right now, right now. Um, I'm on a property. It's a, called the Durham Ranch. It's 55,000 acres. I mean, a lot of open space. In fact, it's one acre for every Pathfinder coming to the International Camp Reach, just for you. And, uh, but you know what they have on this acreage? Can you see this? It's called Buffalo. We have Buffalo on this property. Well, we'll tell you more in just a moment. Can you follow me in? I think we can talk to the owner of 55,000 acres. I've always wanted to meet a person that had 55,000 acres. Come on, let's go this way. Hi, Pathfinders. Uh, we're here at the ranch, the Durham Ranch, like we talked to you about. Beautiful spread here, beautiful ranch. I have the owner right here, the fellow that owns all 55,000. And sir, your name? My name is John Flokini. Flokini. And uh, how long have you owned this property? Uh, over 50 years. Really? Yes, sir. So you, your family grew up here? You have a lot of family history here? Well, I actually was the first generation to uh, live on the ranch. Okay. Yep. My other, my, my grandfather that was involved, my father, they all worked uh, in California okay. and Nevada in our meat companies. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I'm excited you're making time for us because who can manage 55,000 acres? Uh, you still, I don't you know, do it by myself. Yeah, fence around it, right? Lots I mean, of fence, 200 miles of fence. 200 miles of fence. 200 miles of fence. Uh, I grew up fencing on a small cattle ranch in, in my early days, and I couldn't keep up with that. I don't know how you do 200 miles. Yeah, 200 miles? like I said, I don't do it by myself. I yeah. have a great crew that works here, lives on the ranch, yeah. and uh, we keep them busy. And there's only one product you focused on here, right? Well, That's tell correct. me about that. Well, primarily, yes, yeah. bison, buffalo, American mm -hmm. buffalo. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, right these guys right here, yep. And um, we sell the meat uh, that we raise uh, from the animals here through our meat company, which mm -hmm. is uh, primarily out of Nevada now, out mm -hmm. of Reno, Nevada. And most of those animals are running around in one herd. Uh, we call it our main herd, our breeding herd. Mm -hmm. And particularly the time of year that you guys will be here, we'll have them all together. Mm -hmm. And kind of the highest point of the year uh, with numbers of animals will be then, and the herd size should be somewhere near 3,000. Really? Yes, sir. Wow, that's a big herd. So if I'm a Pathfinder, I'm coming to Durham Ranch, I'm on one of these special tours from the Camp Marie Campground in Gillette. Um, what am I gonna experience? What's it gonna be like? Sure. Well, we will uh, provide a guide to step on the bus, ride uh, with the kids. We um, will drive around a little bit, show some of the, uh, our headquarters. We'll talk about some of the history of the bison on, you know, naturally on this land, uh, historically. We take a trip up to our corral facility where we get off the bus, walk around. We show uh, the folks what this equipment looks like, what it's used for, what we do with it, why we do what we do. Um, load back up on the bus and take a trip right into the middle of the 3,000 head of buffalo. Really? Yes, sir. Oh, I gotta take the tour. I gotta figure out a time to leave. Uh, Julie had to come to. down. You need to. Now, back in the day, how many buffalo roamed this whole Midwest? Yeah, so historical estimates uh, were in the range of 40 to 60 million. Really? That, that naturally roamed um, through most of the Mountain West. Okay. The Plains, the Great Plains states and the Mountain West. And uh, today there's a lot, There's but it's down to like 400,000 okay. versus 40 to 60 million. But I think you or somebody else told me that F, as, uh, it used to be out 40, Million? 40 million. And then it went down to how low before it started building back up? Yeah, so they estimated it was at a thousand or less that were in existence before the, uh, they started turning around. So people started growing. valuing the buffalo again? Yep, conservationists, ranchers, zoos, um, and uh, just steadily the numbers climbed back up. This is good for our pathfinders. And how many thousand do you have on the property here? Be 3,000 or so, somewhere in that range. It's gonna be fun, Pathfinders. You gotta, you gotta try to sign up for this whole experience. I hope you do. By the way, I have something special to show you, Pathfinders. Watch this, watch this. 
Tell me what I have here in my hand. What do I have? You have here a bison felt hat. Has a bison leather hat band. Mm -hmm. Has a little buffalo nickel. Mm. And as I mentioned, it is bison felt, buffalo felt. So literally the hair of the buffalo that they felt mm. will go into making hats like this. Wow, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I, let I me, reckon you should try it on, Ron. I'd love to try it on. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Pathfinders, I'm happy you came to Camp Paris. My voice has gone lower. Works every time. Works every time. Ha, <laughs> ha, I love the hat. Uh, I love this whole bison thing. Uh, Pathfinders, you're gonna love coming out to the ranch. Thank you for your time. I know you're a busy guy. And thank you for your support of Pathfinders, giving them a brand new experience that they never had before. Our pleasure. And yeah. we're looking forward to having you guys. It'd be great. Say bye-bye, camera. Bye-bye. There he is. <laughs>